Since this course is about the heap program language, I will use this video to briefly introduce heap. So what is heap, and why do we want to teach it? First, heap is a GPU program framework. The name heap stands for Heterogeneous Computing Interface for Probability, HIP. There are two keywords in the name of heap that we need to highlight. The first word, heterogeneous, means it can program different devices and can control different devices in one program. Here, different devices mainly include CPUs and GPUs, but it may support other type of devices in the future. Another word in the name that worth highlighting is probability. Making GPU program portable between AMD and NVIDIA devices is one of the main goals behind the creation of HEAP. We say HEAP is a GPU program framework. When I say a library or a tool is a software development framework, I mean it can guide how to structure and write the code to achieve desired goals. If you have developed a website before, you probably know React.js. If you follow the guidance provided by React.js, you can implement complex websites. It is the same for HIP. If you follow the guidance provided by HIP and write both CPU code and GPU code, you should be able to deliver a high-performance GPU implementation for your application. We want to highlight two concepts here. A GPU program written in HIP includes two parts. One part runs on the CPU. We also name the program that runs on the CPU as the host program. Any GPU program would need a CPU part since GPU cannot run independently and must be closely controlled by a CPU. Then, we also have the GPU part. We usually name the GPU program as kernels. Each function call from the CPU to the GPU is considered a launch of a kernel. Note that this kernel is usually confused with the operating system kernel. They are not related. We also say HIP is a program language. It includes the program language for the program that runs on the GPUs. We also name the language for GPU programming the kernel language. HIP's GPU program language is an extension of C++. For most of the time, you will find it is identical to regular C++. The syntax is basically the same. HIP supports most of the data types and the operators provided by C++. HIP also supports C++ template so that you do not need to develop kernels repeatedly for similar data types. Additionally, HIP is designed for GPU and has extra keywords, built-in variables, data types, and built-in functions. We will introduce those features later. Finally, we say that HIP is a runtime library. The runtime library is mainly for the host program that runs on the CPU. HIP provides a set of APIs for programmers to control the GPUs. With the API, programmers can perform tasks related to device management, memory management, kernel launching and synchronization, and error handling. As we see in the figure on the right, the HIP runtime library and API serve as a central role in application written with HIP. Both the user application and the libraries can call the runtime library to control the GPUs. The runtime library will connect with the driver, and the driver will eventually communicate with the GPUs. A major part of this course will involve learning how to use the APIs to control the GPUs. Overall, HIP is both a program language and a runtime library. The program language is for the GPU, while the runtime library is for the CPU. Together, the program language and the runtime library form the HIP programming framework, providing full functionality to implement GPU applications.